We've recently had a new addition to the household, this cute little rag doll here, but he just keeps getting up to mischief. Lots of mischief. That's a real problem because we're trying to be responsible cat owners here. Keep him as an indoor cat, make sure he stays inside. What do you do? We just build a water pistol attached to a motion sensor that detects movement and shoots water automatically. Perfect. How do we do it? What do we use? I was thinking that I could use a solenoid. A solenoid like this, when you apply power to it, it pulls in like that. So there's a mechanical force being pulled there. And it's too big to put directly under the handle. So that's not gonna work. What I'm gonna need to do is extend that handle out so that it can be pulled. So that leads me to thinking, okay, what if I get a pair of chopsticks? Put them up under there inside the handle, fix them in, and then maybe I can get the solenoid to pull on that handle and make it all come together. Got an extended handle here. It's got a bit of flex in it, which is not ideal, but at this stage, I'm just trying to do a proof of concept and see if I can make this work. <laughs> and if I can get this solenoid to hook up to it, I'll just tie it. And then with any luck, when I apply power to it, it'll pull the trigger and it will squirt water. <laughs> Excellent, that is working. Definitely working. I can tweak the settings up here, I'm sure, to make it shoot a bit better. Even though I'm really sure I could work this out, make this work, the amount of water that we're spraying is a bit underwhelming. It's, is that really gonna scare a cat? I don't think so. What else could we do? We could use a pressurized bottle like this, where we know that if we spray this up, it could shoot heaps. And that's gonna be a better idea, right? And, you know, depressurize it so, you know, get wet. <laughs> All we need to do is get the solenoid there on the side and pull down on this lever which is well within the capabilities of the solenoid. Let's just see if I can shove it in there. Uh, bit of twist and turning. Uh, this might work. Uh, I'm getting excited. I think this will work really even easier than I expected. Look at that. It just tightly fits in there and it's so tightly fits but I don't even think I need any glue. Trigger is up and down. Oh, it's even working so well but I'm hardly even need to pin these together. Movement sensor, relay, solenoid trigger. For each time it detects movement, it's going to trigger. So we move in front of it, and it light comes on, trigger goes, water squirts. <laughs> it's exactly what we want. So now I've set it up and I'm waiting. Seeing if it works. Oh, it sprayed. But it didn't move. What's going on? Ah, <gasps> oh, it sprayed him again. But he doesn't care. Oh my goodness. So, I'm going to have to step this up a bit. If all I'm going to do is try and stop him from going outside, then maybe I can integrate the hose. Maybe use a hand nozzle like this, an electronic solenoid like this. And turn it on and off with this. Pull this bit out, screw it straight into here. Put the hose attachment on. Wire strippers. So here we have this, nice little setup, apply power and see if it goes. Ready? Excellent. Simple irrigation plan, apply power and go. So if we get a movement sensor there, relay in between the power supply here, we could do something pretty damn intense. So now we just need to rig it up. And I've attached it to a tripod here with some electrical tape and we wait for the cat to strike. Waiting. Waiting. Will it trigger? Please work. Yes! Oh, will he learn his lesson? I don't know, let's see again. <laughs> Oh my 
my goodness. He gets a fright, but I don't think he's too worried because look at the end here. He just sits back down and takes a look. He's like, oh yeah, whatevs. Hmm, I've been outsmarted by the cat.